All right, hey, hey there, Gemini. <clears throat> so we are doing a singles love read. The person coming in to you. All right, um, so you're gonna know this is your read by your energy. If there's anything that you need to release, and I'm gonna give as much detail as I can on that, and then your advice. So if you don't resonate with your energy and maybe what might need to be released or what you're calling in, check your moon rising and Venus placements. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. You guys, um, If when I start pulling the cards for the new person that's coming in, if it feels like an ex, um, I'm just going to ask you guys to stop and peek at um, another placement or um, just know that there might be some more releasing you need to do in order to call in or draw in the new love. All right, so your energy... your energy <clears throat> gemini look at that you are all about success hope and wishes being fulfilled um coming out of any stagnant energy coming out of any feeling of anything holding you back um, as far as the past goes you're like i am leaving the past in the past it's time to move forward all right when it comes to how you feel about love your energy is on point you want your soulmate um you want the one that's supposed to be here you don't want any flaky energy undecisive indecisive type of behavior you want the person who wants you all right so you're calling in this person with the expectation they're looking for the same type of connection overall you know that you deserve something happy something harmonious you deserve your wishes to be met and fulfilled um, we all do right but you're in that perfect uh, uh, energy to receive the abundance some of you guys could have already met this person and it's confirmation it doesn't have to be but at any rate you're in the perfect state of mind you're in the perfect mind frame to call in love so let's see if there's anything that needs to be healed all right so for some of you gemini um here's what i want to say the eight of swords just making sure that you've released all stale energy of the past anything that might be holding you back um, anything that you might feel conflicted about if there's any of that old energy that arises every now and then we have the uh, full moon coming up the full moons are all about um, purging releasing and healing all right so just know that that if there's anything in your past in the background all right um, that might need to be released that might be blocking new love you're going to recognize that you're going to know what it is all right some of you guys could actually be dealing with another gemini it does not have to be um, this is also just kind of taking the reins um, to life all right coming back into your own kingship um, it doesn't matter if you're a male or female this is somebody who takes life by the reins this is somebody who has mental clarity um intellectual power um they're authoritative truthful honest all right um you're you're your own muse and it's time to come back into that energy so if you've lost any of that your angels and spirit guides are saying it's time to take your power back all right the hierophant card tells me that some of you guys could be on a spiritual journey um you're seeking answers you're you're seeking knowledge you're tr you're finding out truths all right I feel like that's a path to stay on. Um, however, it represents a positive uh, point in your life. Stay on it and keep at it. Okay. Uh, two, the Hierophant card could just be that you want somebody or you're desiring somebody who themselves is on a spiritual path and a spiritual journey. Um, and that is, that's how it should be, right? Balance. You want somebody who, who balances that energy, who's looking for answers, who's searching for growth. Um, somebody who's, not pegged down or knocked down by society right you want somebody who steps out of the box who thinks like you do all right so just keep that in mind um this energy that's coming through and let's see what your advice is your advice oh your person's coming towards you all right <clears throat> so for the advice that's coming through all right 
what has been kind of put in the dark you guys are going to be coming into the light you're going to be stepping into the light all right um the moon card this also represents um, imagination, um, your in, in, intuitive abilities, your psychic abilities. Um, it could be too that you know you um, are kind of you're kind of um, flowing through life right now based off of your own intuition. All right, when it comes to your love life, your intuition is on point on how you feel about what it is you want, your expectations. All right, um, with the Queen of Swords and the Queen of, of the the Queen of Swords and the King of Pentacles coming through as advice, I feel like this is just acknowledgement that you are going to have your person that's supposed to be here, your um, equivocal match when it comes to your energy. All right, it could be too that this person pay attention to the signs. Um, all right. It could be that this person is, um, a Virgo represented by the King of, of Pentacles, um, a Virgo and a Libra. All right. Represented by the Queen of Swords. So pay attention. I'm also going to pull some more signs out with the next set of cards. Um, but just know that this person, they're going to be, um, when it comes to how they are, how they roll, when it comes to how you are, um, just recognize and realize that this person's coming through it. it in step and in tune with their own um, leadership, their own discipline. Um, you know, they have goals, they have ambition, just like you do. They're coming through and representing that piece of themselves. Um, this is somebody who is independent, um, unbiased. They have clear boundaries. They know how to speak. And that's something that you've grown um, into that energy just as well. And just know that that's, that's, that's a very good energy to be in. And you're going to have that match. So let's actually see who it is that's coming towards you. It could be too that you have earth in your chart or this person might have earth in their chart as well as the air energy. All right, so who is coming towards you? We have the Knight of Coins. The Knight of Coins is represented by Taurus energy um, and by Aries energy. So this could be a Taurus or an Aries. All right, with the Knight of Coins, this is somebody who brings um, hard work, um, who likes routine, who likes structure, um, con conservatism. Um, on the opposite scale of that, this is somebody who could find themselves bored very easily. Um, they could beat themselves up for feeling stuck at times. They could be a perfectionist. This is somebody who's also been through a lot. All right. The Knight of Coins is the wounded warrior of the, um, the court cards. This is somebody who's suffered through pains, who suffered trials and tribulations. This is somebody who's had to, um, you know, mark their own growth and, and build on their own energy. All right. This person could be um, between the ages of 28 to 35. Uh, we also have the page of coins. So it could be somebody that is uh, represented by youth um, under the age of 30. But the page of pentacles, this is represented by Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. So there's a lot of earth energy coming through here. All right. The page of um, pentacles is somebody who represents luck, manifestation, somebody who sees, grows, and develops financial opportunities. This is somebody who does not lack on any skill set. Um, conversely, this person um, could could show lack of progress when it comes to their their own matters. Um, this is somebody who likes to procrastinate. And this is somebody who's had to learn from a lot of failures, thereby again represented by that Knight of Coins energy. So I feel like this person um, is definitely going to be under the age of 35. Um, you know, as far as features go, I see you know the brown hair. I see green eyes, uh, brown eyes. Um, just somebody who's young it might be somebody you never thought all right this could be somebody like if you're not attracted to younger people you just got to keep in mind that the soulmates that we have um they're usually going to be kind of different than what we're used to all right so let's see what else is coming with this person's energy for gemini They have the full card coming through. The full card is represented by Aquarius. 
um, this is definitely saying that this is a new person um, this person's going to change your life as you know it um, the full card represents new beginnings this is changes this is positive positive um, energy all right this is also a depiction of somebody young so another person another confirmation that this person's going to be younger but this person's energy is going to be full it's going to be full of life it's going to be happy energy abundant energy let's go let's do this let's do that let's let i feel like this person's going to take you places you've actually never even experienced what else we have justice card coming through so a lot of earth and we got libra coming through really hard all right um, this is somebody who represents balance, success, and this is positive karma. Somebody that knows about karma, somebody knows that knows, hey, what you put out comes back tenfold. All right. So this person's very, uh, I feel in tune with karma and karmic energy. All right. It's not to say that they're on this big um, spiritual path yet, but I feel like that could be something that you actually open this person up to. All right. I already feel like it's embedded in them. They already know. Yep. High priestess card coming through, um, represented by Pisces energy. This is somebody who's intuitive. Um, this is somebody who represents a soul tie to you. So past life connection right here. And I feel like there's going to be a soul level recognition when it comes to the contract with you and this person. This also represents divine feminine energy. I almost feel like this person does not have any children at all. Um, and it's fine if you do. Um, this person I feel is going to be going to be open and receptive. Um, I feel like this person is going to be young. So like if you have um, teenagers, you guys, for some of you, it could be that this person really gets along with that aspect. Um, and it's not to say that you're dating a teenager, um, but I feel like this is going to be something that you've never experienced before. All right. I, I can't shake it for you guys, um, but just be open and receptive again. Um, usually when uh if we have these you you've seen people that have been married and have had these long long um relationships and and i, I feel that most times more often times than not we recognize or see um right out the gate that there's an age difference but i think it's beautiful energy all right so let's see what's going on around you when this person comes in you're going to be uh Here's what I feel. When this person comes in, you're you're not going to recognize them at first. Okay? The two of swords. Um I feel like you're not going to you're not seeing this person right at first and I feel like with the 7 of cups coming through, you have a lot of people kind of throwing themselves at your energy. All right? There could be a lot of people that are coming your way. So your angels and spirit guides are saying, "Pay attention to the one that we're trying to give you here." All right? Because a lot of these people are very attracted to your energy, your state of mind. All right? They want to comprehend um you. Uh, I feel like you're going to be experiencing a, just a slew of people texting you, inboxing you, messaging messaging you on a messenger, blowing up your Instagram, your Facebook, whatever. I just feel like you're going to have people from all over just kind of come in and you're going to be like, what the hell is going on? All right. The Ten of Coins representing um, everything going good in life. Everything's feeling smooth. Everything is going smooth. Um, you're just really happy. You feel abundant. You feel good about your financial status. You feel good about your life, your home, um, whatever it is you have going on, you feel confident in it. All right. You feel secure. And that's the energy you're going to be in when this person comes through. Just be aware of everybody else. It's not this person that we're speaking of. Okay. And I know I threw a lot of signs out there, but the most prominent ones again are going to be, um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and Libra. All right. So the short-term potential. So here's what I feel. You guys, I feel when you first meet, um, there could be a little bit of confliction. Um, it, you know, this is kind of being afraid to put yourself out there because you don't want to get played. You don't want to get hurt. This is also that essence of being strung along. It could be too that you you have these vibes from this person, or it could just be that you are really recognizing that you don't want to settle down right away. All right, but the decision will be made. Okay, you're going to see this person come in and I feel like it's going to be pretty much irresistible. You're going to know without a doubt who this person is. Um, and you guys are going to, you guys are going to, be forward movements. All right. It could be too that you might even deny this person the opportunity a couple of times before 
that connection kind of gets restored and healed and you're you come into this little awakening moment like oh that's the person all right so i feel like there might be some trouble when you guys first meet but it's just because i feel like it's going to strike you as this person comes in as odd or not your type okay but you got to heal that mindset all right and then you guys just know that the connection is gonna it'll get off to the right foot everything will smooth out and you guys will move forward so let's see what the long-term potential is so you guys leave behind all right you you leave behind that stuck energy that stuck notion long-term potential we have the nine of wands coming through so i feel like there's still some barriers that you guys need to break through this is only three to six months you guys so uh, you know it's not like we're going to know everything about a person in three to six months all right so there is still going to be some walls up but they are going to be healed over and eventually you guys will mark your way through where you need to be at all right the two of wands is about making that connection building an empire together it's about growth all right walk in the path together because you know that this is something that's going to be huge and that's what you guys are going to show the world all right so let's see what your advice is your advice you guys are coming through with the two of coins so if, if you're still here at this rate it's all about putting your direct intentions out to the universe asking for what you want and knowing that it's coming to you you will be in receipt all right of your best friend of your partner of your friends you know this is all about success this is goals this is teamwork and this is inspired action all right um that's what that's what your angels and spirit guides are saying you got something beautiful coming through here um and it's gonna set you on the course of um a perfect opportunity for mental clarity mental healing emotional healing and well-being all right you guys are are moving towards maybe even something that you never had in your past when it comes to the mental and emotional body. All right, this is it. This is the palace of swords with this connection coming through. And it's not one that you want to um, disengage from. All right, look at it as an opportunity. Okay, so you guys, I'm going to leave it right there. Um, hopefully, if you guys resonate with this, you'll comment, let me know. Otherwise, you guys take care. Take it easy. I love you guys.